heat of neutralization between strong acid and strong alkali versus weak acid and strong alkali eh? okay so from here we can see that the heat of neutralization of strong acids are the same okay 57 kilojoule per mole 57 57 eh? okay strong acid and strong alkali is always the same okay it's reasonable because the the reaction is the same because for all of this the reaction is the hydrogen ions react with hydroxides to produce water even though the acid that we use is different alkali is different but the reaction is the same eh? the reaction is hydrogen ion react with hydroxide to produce water so this one also hydrogen ions react with hydroxide to produce water okay and one more of water produced it release 57 kilojoule it's reasonable eh? it's reasonable then let's see weak acid and strong alkali eh? weak acid and strong alkali then we found that the heat of neutralization is lower than 57 kilojoule even though the reaction is still the same okay the reaction is still hydrogen ions react with hydroxides to produce water it's still the same this one also uh, hydrogen ion react with hydroxides to produce water so the reaction is still the same but the heat of neutralization is lower suppose it's 57 eh, but we only get 55 okay and this only get 12 kilojoule per mole so that's what you need to know eh? okay the heat of neutralization between weak acid and strong alkalis will always lower than the heat of, of neutralization of strong acid and strong alkali which is always 57 kilojoule per mole eh? this is lower so the first thing is uh, you need to know that is lower okay and the second thing that you need to know is why is it lower eh? why is it lower okay now let's see why is it lower okay first of all okay i would like to discuss with you uh the misconceptions a lot of students think that um uh, when weak acid react with strong alkali the heat of neutralization is lower is because weak acid just partially ionize eh? okay so most of the students think but it's not correct eh? it's not correct just the student think like that eh? but it's not correct it's a wrong concept okay now student thinks like that just now i think i have explained to you that uh, for weak acid like ethanoic acid only partially uh ionized uh, let's say we have if we have 1000 uh ethanoic acid just three of it just three of it uh will ionize to form three uh ethanoid ions and three hydrogen ions and since since yeah it only has three hydrogen ions so these three hydrogen ions react with uh, three hydroxide to produce three water that's why the heat release is lower because we have 1000 but only three hydrogen ions produced right okay so three hydrogen ions will only produce three water molecule and therefore the heat release is lower much lower okay and therefore the heat of neutralization is lower this is what most of the students think okay but this is not correct this is not correct so this is a wrong concept it's not correct if this is not correct then what's the correct one yeah let's say we have uh, 1000 ethanoic acid and when it dissolves it will form three ethanoid ion and three hydrogen hydrogen ions and these three hydrogen ions will react with three hydroxide to form three water right now after this uh, after these hydrogen ions react uh, so there is no more hydrogen ions uh, okay and this one is no more 1000 because the tree uh, three ionized uh, so it has a uh, 997 okay and these three hydrogen ions already react with hydroxide uh, to form three water so now we have 997 now if this happens and uh, no more hydrogen ion here this will ionize again okay it will ionize again now it's 997 right okay it will ionize again to form and it become then it will become a uh, 994 and then now we have uh, six ethanol ion and three hydrogen ions so you see after the hydrogen ions has uh, reacted with the hydroxide ions to form water uh, then this one it will uh, decompose or, or ionize again 
to form more hydrogen ion. This ion, hydrogen ion will react with hydroxide. It react with hydroxide, then it will produce six water molecule, eh? six water molecule. And now you see no more hydrogen ion, then it will ionize again. Now it ionize, it become 991, and it ionize three, form three more hydrogen ions. This process will continue, continue and continue and continue until uh, ethanoic acid molecule ionize. Uh, if all the ethanoic acid ionize, then it will form 1,000 water molecule, 1,000 water molecule means that even though it's weak acid eh, but still it will 100 percent uh, ionize and 100 percent react with uh, hydro hydroxide ions to produce water why because after after the hydro hydrogen ion ionize eh, it will ionize again Hi sorry after the hydrogen ions react with hydroxide it will ionize again react ionize again react ionize again so more and more Ethanoic acid ionized to form hydrogen ion, and uh, at the end, okay, at the end, 100% of the ethanoic acid will ionize to form water. So you will get 100 uh, water molecule. So if you have one more ethanoic acid, then it will produce one more uh, ethanoid, ethanoid ions, okay, and uh, one more hydrogen ions. Uh, and this one more hydrogen ions will react with the hydroxide ions, one more hydroxide ions uh, to produce one mole of water. Okay, to produce one mole of water. So if you use one mole of ethanoic acid, eh, it will produce one mole of water. And just now we learned that if it produces one mole of water, the heat release is 57 kilojoule. 57 kilojoule. Eh? Okay, this is what we get because when one more of water molecule produced, uh, 57 kilojoule is produced. But when we check the heat of neutralization, then we only have 55 kilojoule. Suppose we should get 57 because one more ethanoic acid, it produces one more water. One more water, sure, it will release 57 kilojoule, but we only get 55 kilojoule. So that, that is what we get. This is what we're supposed to get. Okay, but when we measure, we only get this. Why? Where is this two kilojoule gone? 57, 55, two kilojoule disappear, right? Okay, so where is this two kilojoules of heat gone? Where it is? Okay, suppose we get 57. Now we only get 55. The explanation, eh? the explanation is when this ethanoic acid, it ionized, ionized to form ethanoid ion and hydrogen ions eh? so in this process the bond is broken right initially there's a bond eh, between uh, these hydrogens and these oxygens so when we dissolve this ethanoic acid in water this bond is broken this bond is broken to form hydrogen ion and ethanoid ions eh? so bond is broken okay let's write here bond broken we break the bond now when a bond, a chemical bond is broken, energy will be released or absorbed. We have learned this, broken and formations of bond. So if we break a bond, energy will be absorbed or released. Absorbed. Yes, that's correct. So if you break a bond, heat energy will be absorbed from the surrounding. Okay, it will be absorber to break up the bond. Okay, now you know where is this two kilojoule gone? This two kilojoule has been absorbed during the uh, breakings of this bond when uh, ethanoic acids ionize to form hydrogen ions. So it released 57 kilojoule. It does release 57 kilojoule, but out of this two, sorry, out of this 57 kilojoule, two kilojoule is absorbed to break the bond. Okay, only 55 kilojoule is released to the surrounding. So when you measure it, you only get 55 kilojoule because the other two kilojoule has been absorbed to break the bond. That's why you get 55 kilojoule. So that's the reasons. That's the reasons when you use weak acid, the heat of neutralization is always less than 57 kilojoule. Okay because 
uh, in the process, uh, there is a breaking of the bond. The bond is broken uh, to, for, for these hydrogens to react with hydroxide. And to break the bond, uh, heat will be absorbed. Now for strong acid and strong alkali, we don't have this problem because it's already 100% ionized. 100% ionized means that we don't need to break the bond anymore. Okay? The bond is already broken uh, way before. So during the process, no bond is broken. Eh? During the neutralization, no bond is broken. This one, during the neutralization, this bond is broken. This bond is broken to produce hydrogen ions to react with hydroxide ions. And during the breaking of the bond, heat is, re is absorbed. That's why when you measure, you will find that the heat release is less than what it's supposed to be. So that is the uh, reasons. So as mentioned before, the heat of neutralization between strong acid and strong alkali is almost the same, which is 57 kJ per mole for all acid and all alkali. Nevertheless, the heat of neutralization between weak acid and strong alkali is always less than 57. If you use weak acid, then it's less than 57. Why? Because weak acid is partially decomposed or partially ionized. Just part of it ionized, small amount of it ionized. Eh? And during the reactions of neutralization, the acid molecules will be decomposed. This happened during the reactions. Eh? This happened during the reaction. For strong acids, uh, the decomposition happens way before. Okay, But for weak acids, the decompose or ionization of the acids uh, happen during the reactions. So during the reactions of neutralization, the acid molecule will be decomposed to form hydrogen ions and react with the hydroxide ions from alkali. When we decompose the molecule uh, to form hydrogen ions, uh, so part of the heat released during the formations of water molecule is used to decompose the acid to form hydrogen ions. So it released 57, 2 kilo, 2 kilo joule is absorbed or it, 2 kilo joule is used to ionize or decompose the acid to form hydrogen ions.